Just, just however they want to use me, however um, needed fit to win, obviously coming into a winning culture, I just want to do what it takes to win the game. If he need me to post, I will, which I'm not really that good mm -hmm. at that. But if whatever this guy needs me to do so we can win games, that's, that's what I'm willing to do. You uh, played a little bit with Bryce Funk before, so yeah, I understand yeah. that was a bit of a draw card to come back. Yeah, definitely. When he, when he told me he was here, um, he didn't want to tell me he had signed already. But um, once he told me he was coming back, I was like, I think I think I want to be here with you, man, because I know I fir my first year we spent our rookie year together with uh, with the Austin Spurs in the D League, and and the fireworks we had then in terms of on the court, just chemistry was really good. So why not get an opportunity? My first opportunity to leave the country. Why not go play with a really good friend? So it kind of helped. Had you followed his career here at all? Was he able to definitely, to definitely, and that that also kind of persuaded me to come because I like I mentioned to the coaches before I've never seen Bryce so happy. And I've never seen him so live, so animated just about the game and just how passionate he was when he came here because I've seen him over the years in other places and he, he had near as much energy as he had here. So um, it was definitely helpful to see, see him do that, see him feel that way. You got a bit of publicity with the 12 out of 12 from the three-point line in the, uh, in the team. What, is, mm -hmm. what has that sort of meant? Do you come here with expectations to be you know, a great shooter as well? I'll tell you right now, I won't do that again. So um, it's, just, it's just a matter of just going and playing. I really think um, I was I was shunned upon by by the higher being on that day. You know, just just that opportunity to go perform like that at, at that level. It was it was it was definitely an experience that I won't forget. But it's something that you know, kind of in the past, just got to look forward and just try to strive for for something like that, close to perfection as, as possible. So. Can we come back in like a couple months with that question? Mm -hmm. Like, we, I'll ask you that question to see how that goes. I don't, I don't really know, man. I just, I just want to have fun. Like, I lot, a lot, a lot. I watch a lot of film of Clay Thompson. Uh, I like Clay a lot. Um, Contavious Caldwell Pope with the Pistons. A lot of those guys. I like like watching them play. Just what they do, what they bring to the team defensively and offensively in terms of space on the floor, cutting, um, using their ability to help the team. So, those guys. Yeah, look, we had a had a good chance to see him play in Vegas, and just liked his attitude on the court. He's high energy. He's buying into his teammates, and obviously his skill set where he can drop the open three with you know NBA range. That certainly uh, got our attention to start off with. But there's a lot of other factors that he brings on the court. He was passing to the open man. He wasn't being selfish on the court, and um, he was working hard on the defensive end. And, those uh, those things stand out for for the kind of style that we play here, and I think he's going to be a great fit for our team. Yeah, it's probably just with our uh, with our roster that we need a little bit scoring power from the perimeter, um, especially Bryce coming back that's able to beat his man and create a uh, rotation and. Um, now we've just got to get our team to find him the right spot and run the right plays and get him in the right position for the ball. But I'm sure that uh, he might not go 12 or 12, but hopefully he can go 13 or 13 or 14 or 14. That's, I'm quite easy with that. Did you consult Bryce about this? Oh, of course, yeah. That's, you know, we, we do a lot of research about characters, uh, about their personality, how they're going to fit into the team. And, um, you know, and then sitting down and, and meeting with him, he's... He's full of energy and, and we think we can use that on the court and he's going to be a great fit for our organisation and I'm um, very excited for him to be here. To hear him say that Bryce has never been happier in any other club, mm. that sort of thing endorsed him, he must be really pleased to hear that sort of reputation internationally about him. Yeah, when you know, Bryce's experience last year was, you know, we win a championship, we win the last eight games or so and and just to see Bryce in summer league was, uh, you know, he wanted to come back when, when there was bigger offers on the table um, in Europe. So, you know, that's, that's great to have. And now they've got uh, some history together, some chemistry on the court. I really can't wait to see how they, how they play out there and how they fit into the, to the Wildcats. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's the chemistry on the court, and if you've got some history of if two guys playing together, it's a bit like Damo and Matty Knight. You know, they just know where each other is on the court, and they play well together. And and as a team, you got to buy. Well, you got to you got to make that work for the team, and and we'll adjust things so that happens out on the court. Ronnie, Scott Spoon, you got a nickname at all? 
uh, Tuss, but I just got one. They call me Bushy or something. They just <laughs> named me. So I don't know which one's going to stick, uh, Tuss or Bushy. So what's we'll the, see. What's the meaning behind Tuss? Uh, well, I actually got it from um, a Detroit P Piston grade, Isaiah Thomas. So it was like seventh grade. I'm going to uh, uh, my first time playing. I'm going to a little tryout, middle school tryout, seventh grade, 12 years old. And um, I had just watched like a movie or some documentary about Isaiah Thomas and just I just fell in love with the guy, like everything about him. So I went to this tryout and uh, they were like, what, what's your name? What's your name? And I said, you can just call me Tuss, you know, because that was that was Isaiah Thomas's nickname throughout the uh, throughout the documentary or whatever. And it just happened to stick with me. And uh, I actually got a chance to meet him down at the uh, three point shootout in New Orleans uh, for NBA All Star weekend. And he called the three point shootout that I was in. So that was like a big, big deal for me. Being able to meet the guy that I kind of um, looked up to, stole his name, and just kind of <laughs> rocked with it. So um, it was, it's definitely something that, that was memorable for me as well.